Network is the Assistance and Referral Center for Health and Social Services in the Montérégie area. So we serve basically the English-speaking population from Contrecoeur to Chateauguay and everything in between. Our mission is essentially to increase awareness of and accessibility to those services for the English-speaking population. The Chateauguay English Community Network is a grassroots organization. We are in serving the English community in Chateauguay and the outlying areas. Um, we have services um, in English. We have lifelong learning. What we believe in is uh, community, lifelong learning, inclusion, partnership, um, and volunteerism. And that's what we promote. We work with volunteers only and we are a non-funded organization. We have a great partnership with New Frontier School Board, which helps us to be able to provide these services to the English community in Chattagay. Well, the Social Work Community Partners Network is, like, like our sister organization in Chattagay, provides services and awareness of English language services. Our area covers basically the Brossard, St. Lambert, Greenfield Park area, which is basic, oh, covers basically the river, what you call the Riverside School Board. Our role is often very much to make the community link with services, be it and a range of services, be it a church event, be it a CLSC, be it access to home care services. So our, um, it really is making the link. For the New Frontiers School Board, we have 15 centers in our, in our region, three adult centers, two high schools, and 10 elementary schools. We cover a territory from Valleyfield to Hemingford, up to Chattagy, to the U.S. border. Um, anyone is allowed to come to our professional schools. Puis même si toutes les formations sont offertes en anglais, les francophones aussi peuvent s'inscrire chez nous. We're very glad to be participating in the fair for a second year running. And uh, we're an Access Career Training Center for Riverside School Board. And we offer vocational trainings in a variety of sectors like health, construction, business and administration, and uh, mechanics. Uh, we're located in the eastern part of the South Shore, from St. Constant all the way to Sorel, and from the river to uh, the border with the U.S., where our centers are mainly located in St. Lambert, Longueuil, and uh, St. Hubert. Calax is a sexual assault center. We offer services to teenagers 12 years of age and older and adult women who have been sexually assaulted. Uh, so we offer counseling, uh, accompaniment and referrals. We also offer support groups and uh, it's all free, confidential and our services are bilingual. It's in Chateauguay but uh, our territory is uh, up to Beauharnois and then up to Emmingford and includes the um, Kanawagi Reserve. Avion Marguerite de Champlain is a women's shelter that offers services to women and children who are victims of conjugal violence. Our territory is Brossard, St. Hubert, Longueuil, Greenfield Park, St. Lambert. And we also offer services to women living outside that region because sometimes women have to leave. Donc, on est un service d'hébergement, maison d'hébergement pour les femmes et les enfants qui vivent la violence conjugale. Donc, on offre l'hébergement. Euh, et on offre aussi des services à l'extérieur, euh, des services externes. Les femmes viennent consulter une intervenante. On offre aussi en fait un service téléphonique 24 heures euh, sur 7. We are here representing Youth Protection Services. So we cover the whole territory of Montérégie, so from Sorel all the way to Vaudreuil. So what we do is offer protection services for children whose safety and development are compromised. Um, we help uh, the youth and their parents overcome difficult situations. We offer specialized services for child placement when it's necessary, so that can be foster families, etc. Um, and we also offer uh, services in the Youth Criminal Justice Act, so uh, kids that are under 18 that have committed uh, delinquent acts. Um, we also also services in for adoption, foster families. First CVLC stands for Chateauguay Valley Literacy Council. We're funded by the Minister of Education and our role is to help English speaking individuals who have problems reading and writing. So we deal with high school, uh, high school students, CEGEP students, as well as adults who want to attend an English and adult education center. Uh, we also have group workshops and as well we have special programs such as Youth Reading to Youth which is done in collaboration with Our Lady of Perpetual Help Church. Uh, we also have, we tutor 
uh, volunteers for elementary schools because they're helping children who have reading difficulties. Last year our volunteers gave more than 2,600 hours and if you want to have more information about our organization go to our Facebook page. Well basically we're a volunteer based organization. We bring people together to help promote literacy. Mostly towards adults because not a lot of organizations uh, gear towards that. And so it's a big issue in our society, especially when it comes to health literacy, because people are trying to get the help that they need, but don't necessarily understand what illness they have or how to, uh, how to take their medication properly and whatnot. Um, we also have multiple um, programs, one program geared towards peer tutoring for adolescents and uh, another program that is geared towards uh, tiny tots from one to three years old. And it's mostly one-on-one -on -one tutoring that we try and uh, encourage. The region that we serve is uh, Greenfield Park, St. Lambert, Brossard, and Longueuil. Well, La Calade Santé Mentale is a center where we welcome people that are family members of someone that has a mental health disorder. Uh, we work with spouses, uh, parents, uh, children. It's from age zero to 100, and uh, we offer bilingual services. We have uh, courses that we give on certain uh, diseases, such as um, bipolar or whatever, and we have one-on-one -on -one consultation. Services are free. And what service area do you use? Shadowgate region, so Shadowgate, St. Constant, La Prairie, Hemingford, uh, Mercier, Léry, that all uh, region there. Our harbor is um, supervised apartments for people who suffer from mental Ill illness. Yes, um, their age, no, there is no age, okay? Uh, they have to be 18. Um, our average age now is like 35 years old. We are located in uh, Ville Le Moine, so all the apartments are on the same street. Uh, we have 30 volunteers that are friends with the residents. The services are available to everyone, no matter where you live. Emmy Quebec is the term for Action on Mental Illness. And we, we are a support group on the South Shore for families of mental Ill illness. And uh, we support and inform. And uh, basically, we're on Wednesday, Wednesday nights at 6.30 every two weeks. Saint Raja is a health group for people that are 18 and over and dealing with mental health uh, illness. So basically, we're offering different activities five days a week. Uh, and they're coming to learn different skills, um, have a chance to meet other people. Uh, they have uh, support there also, where they can talk to professionals. And we're located in St. Hubert and Longueuil. We're located in Ganawage, right along the riverside. Um, Cadre Memorial Hospital Centre presently has 43 uh, beds available for long-term care, short-term care and respite. Uh, we also have an outpatient clinic. We service the community of Ganawage, also Ganasadage, and other native communities around. Uh, we also have a large number of people that come from outside of the community um, who have doctors that come to, that work in our community and they come and they, they are served there. So that's what our hospital is about. Assisted Living Services is a department within Ganawage, so got the, the Genhas Community Services in Ganawage. And our department services two main populations. One is the mental health component, which is um, services for severe and persistent individuals living with mental health diagnoses. And within there, there is the Independent Living Center, which is a 12 unit resource, residential resource for adults. And we also support individuals with mental health issues living autonomously within their own home. So the services is for community members within Ganawage living with and coping with mental health diagnosis. The other component to assisted living services is the special needs population. Our special people with special gifts 
so those are some individuals with learning disabilities, developmental delays, and physical disabilities. And we service youth and adults. The Alzheimer's Society sur is one of 20 chapters of the Alzheimer's Society of Canada and the Federation of Alzheimer's Societies in Quebec. Uh, our territory for our society, each one auto-funded, gives their own services. We are sisters and not twins. We evolve in the same philosophy, the same mission, the same priorities. We give services in the sur the greater touristic area of the sur in French, in English, for free, en français, en anglais, c'est gratuit, tous les services de répit, stimulation pour les personnes atteintes, pour les aidants du répit. On donne de la formation, we give training, support, information and respite stimulation services to families and people with Alzheimer's and other types of dementias in the Greater Chattagay area, in Ganawagay, in Vaudreuil-Soulange, the, the Haut Saint-Laurent, Ormstown, Huntingdon, and also our head office is located in Salaberry, uh, Beauharnois region. But we do, we do uh, go on, on site to help people. We don't make them come to us. Alzheimer Group is a support-driven organization. We provide support services for everyone touched by this disease and related dementias. From an activity center that operates five days a week, to in-home respite, to training, education, conferences, lectures, support groups for uh, people going through this with their loved ones, to individual counseling, uh, long distance phone support, anything that we can do as a support service to people to help them understand the disease because education is really at the core of understanding. Physically we're located in the city. We offer our activity center to anyone who can get there. We're at Westminster and Cote St. Luke Road. We have respite in home in the city and on the West Island. We work with uh, home care professionals who we offer more training for. Um, and in terms of phone support, support in uh, counseling and so on, anyone from anywhere can come. Educalwa is a non-profit organization and our mission is to educate people about the law. Uh, the law in many different areas, so family law, housing, health, consumer rights, um, people's rights uh, as regards the government, so many different areas. So we're based here in Montreal, but our mandate is to serve all of Quebec the best we can. We do it in various ways. Sometimes we do video conferences, uh, webinars, we go to community organizations and give talks. We're very active in schools and at adult centers. Uh, we create print publications, videos, and we have a legal information website with a lot of information. Le CAAP, Montérégie, C-A-A-P, is an acronym in France for the Centre d'Assistance et d'Accompagnement aux Plaintes. And in English, it's a Complaint Assistance Center. Simple. Okay? We help people uh, to guide them inside the public network uh, complaint system. Um, there's a complaint regime in Quebec, and we're there to inform all the users about their, their right. We provide information uh, to the users uh, inside the, the complaint regime. Collaborative Approach will be presenting Peers, which is a program for education and enrichment of relational skills. It's a social skills program developed at UCLA. Um, we're offering it to families on and off the island of Montreal. It's a 14-week evidence-based program, so there's been tons of research in the U.S. Um, it's offered all across Canada, uh, except for Quebec. So in March 2016, we'll be launching our first, uh, first day of the program, and uh, it's for kids on the autism spectrum, kids with ADHD, social anxiety disorder, and it's also parents assistance, so the parents will be involved in the, uh, the training as well. On est de la maison de la famille, la station de l'aventure. We're a, a family-oriented organism. Uh, we work with family, parents. We show them how to receive a little help with discipline, self-esteem with the kids. We give a baby massages course, and uh, we like to be together. So we go out once a month. Rapid is the resources for the anglophone persons with intellectual disabilities. Uh, we uh, service the clientele that, uh, or any ages, that uh, are looking for activities or services in English. Uh, we are in uh, Chattagay and St. Lambert at the moment. 
Society Canadian du Cancer, Canadian Society of Cancer. And all the services we've got is our bilingual. Et beaucoup de services que nous avons en français. Et euh, c'est la Société Canadienne du Cancer offre des conférences, conférences. And euh, on a les prothèses capillaires, les prothèses mammaires. Euh, on donne beaucoup de formations. Et ça, c'est tout euh, le pamphlet que nous donnons à tout le monde qui est le numéro à retenir, 1-888-939-3333 or cancer.ca. And vous avez toutes les informations sur la Société canadienne du cancer. Our organization is CISMO, uh, Centre intégré de soins de services sociaux Montérégie Ouest. And we cover from La Prairie up to the U.S. line and the Ontario line. So if you look at that, it's for CSSS, Vaudreuil Soulange, Jardin Roussillon, Du Surois, and Haut Saint Laurent. So everybody's there, plus the readaptation, okay, about dependence and readaptation centers. So uh, everywhere in Montérégie region. Ça, ça inclut les. Il faut pas oublier que les C3S inclut les CLSC, les CHSLD et les hôpitaux du territoire. Fait qu'on se retrouve avec plus qu'un hôpital euh, et puis euh, beaucoup de CLSC, beaucoup de, C... de... de CHSLD aussi, plus les centres de réadaptation, la maison Foster, le centre de virage, beaucoup de choses euh, qui sont incluses. Le CIS de la Montérégie Centre, we cover uh, the area of uh, Saint-Jean from uh, to uh, Brossard and uh, towards the uh, uh, front U.S. border. Alors les services que le centre intégré offre et principalement donc c'est les, les services offerts pour la population générale, des enfants en passant par les adolescents jusqu'aux adultes et personnes âgées naturellement. Well, we're a chapter of a national organization, the Canadian Celiac Association, and we're there for anybody who's adversely affected by gluten. We began as a celiac association, uh, but now we realize that gluten affects one in six people who um, don't have celiac disease, but have what's called now non-celiac gluten sensitivity, which there isn't a diagnosis for it, and some of these people need to follow the diet closely, some don't, there's a lot not known. I found a Green Leaf Consulting five years ago this month uh, with the mission of helping people learn how to go green by eliminating uh, toxic chemicals in their cleaning products, their personal care products in their home, uh, improving the air quality, and also lessening their environmental footprint by reducing the use of plastic um, and reducing waste in the home. Well, I offer workshops in different venues such as schools, uh, corporate lunch and learns, uh, and even in individual homes. I'm with Shadagi Civitan. We are 25 years in the community. We raise funds to help uh, the uh, or many organizations in the community as much as possible. And we, uh, we also have our main mission is to help the handicap as well, and the Special Olympics, etc. Station 7 is a uh, teen drop-in center. Uh, we've been in operation for 20 years in Chattagay, right across from the uh, fire station. Uh, we also run a crisis pregnancy center out of our drop-in center. And we have a shop downstairs where I teach kids how to do reproduction furniture, uh, refinish furniture instead of going to jail, they do community service with us. We have an art program on Saturday afternoons and uh, yeah, it's all about working with teens and helping them to learn and grow. Talent Ensemble is a project um, for answer uh, tribal language. Que c'est ça dans le fond la table de concertation à couvre le territoire de Le Moine, Saint Lambert, Wiltil Park et Brossard. Puis on développe des outils pour euh, intervenir auprès des enfants 0-5 ans. Puis d'aller outiller aussi euh, les parents et euh, les intervenants euh, qui travaillent avec euh, les enfants de 0-5 ans. Donc euh, différents outils euh, sont mis en place, euh, comme des soirées d'information pour les parents. Euh, il y a des formations pour les intervenants, des ateliers mobiles, euh, de stimulation du langage. 
Association La Fugumiagie, Région Montérégie. Donc, on offre des services de soutien, conseil, écoute, conférences, ateliers adaptés, activités adaptées pour des gens qui ont la fugumiagie. Thank you.